Fox AM. Hey guys, guess what? It's Monday. <laughs> he just woke up. Well, Clint, before we went on air, Clint just yeah. totally, I felt pressure to be like energetic because Kelly was like, I forgot my caffeine today. I forgot my energy pill. Your energy pill. And then Clint said, well, you've got Jeremy. What more do you need? I'm like, well, yeah, but he's had a little allergy problem lately, so wake up. Dude. And my allergy medicine does bring me down. Yeah, it brings me down. That's why I take it to sleep. Allergy pills bring me down. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> Who do. are you anyway? I think I'm Jeremy Ray, but don't quote me on that. Gotcha. And I'm Kelly Smith, and we are wacky. It's a, it's a crazy. It doesn't rhyme, but it's. I a feel like I have thing. to just impress Clint, our cameraman, for the entire show. <laughs> Hello. Well, it's okay. I have to. I like to. the energy. It's yes, we've got a very action-packed show today, guys. So buckle your seat belts. Hang on. Hang on, because it's going to be crazy. And first, I want to start off with just tantalizing you with some amazing food, okay? Please. This food, I went to a restaurant I've been wanting to try for, I would say, months. Okay. And finally got around to it yesterday. I went to brunch at Split Social Kitchen. All right. And I saw Jennifer Bray, you just make a face. This <laughs> was my Bloody Mary. Okay. That was my Bloody Mary. My favorite part is not only was it super spicy, which I love, all the accoutrements on top, there were pickled cucumbers and okra and cheese and tomato and oh. ham and stuff. I want all the stuff. I want the accoutrements on top. Yes, you would have loved it. I would have. And the rim was super spicy. Like it was a spicy rim around like peppery spicy. I like all of that. Then brace yourself for the best take on Eggs Benedict I've ever had. Oh, wow. So get this. Layer by layer, from the bottom up, it's brioche toast. Okay. With avocado spread, uh -huh. like an Thank avocado you. toast. On top of that, fried chicken tenders. <gasps> On top of that, a poached egg with hollandaise sauce mm. and then fresh sliced jalapenos. That's what I thought, and tater tots to boot. And t I ate the entire place. That looks fantastic. And it turns out, the, one of the owners, I didn't know, I know, her name is Kristen Douglas, and she came huh? over and introduced herself, and I was talking to her. She says, oh, we've met before, and I always hate that. Oh, I know. When, when I don't, don't remember. remember. Yeah. But she's lovely, so I'm going to be doing a story on them. Oh, that's fantastic. Because their food is crazy. It looks amazing. So good. Egg and another kind of meat, like the hamburger, the yes. egg. I, what's not to love? It was delicious. Mm -hmm. And then on Saturday night before that, I brought you a treat. I brought everybody a treat, really. Um, I went to a get-together at, at a friend's house on... Saturday night, uh, her name is Megan Garrett. Okay. And she just had a baby a year ago. And she, I'll tell you this, I, she had some guacamole. I ate it, I went, nobody ever makes guac like my mom. I knew you were gonna say that. Her guac was identical to my mom's. To your mom's. And I told her that, I was like, this is amazing. Then she brought out these, Kelly. I'm gonna hold these up. This one's for you, the big one's for you. Oh, thank you so much. Here's the reason why. So let me just get a little closer with this. Okay. Because she made from scratch, Homemade scones. From scratch. From scratch. This one I knew you would like because guess what? It is peanut chocolate peanut butter espresso scones. Oh, that sounds amazing. And they were so good. I ate the whole one. I said, like, do you mind if I take some to <laughs> share with my coworkers and put it on, on air? So I just want you to taste it because okay. it is so good. You can nibble on it through the show if you'd like. But the chocolate, the peanut butter, the espresso, mm. insane. Mm. That is, is so, so good? good. I taste the espresso. And I, I got Jennifer and TJ we can share. I'm, I'm going to break it up. Uh, Look, I'm yeah. just going to break a piece off that I can eat, and then we can share. Yeah, we can break it apart. Mm. I felt bad because we were leaving. Mm. I was like, do you mind if I take some of your scones to go? Megan, <laughs> right? Megan? Yes, Megan, Megan Garrett. Thank you. That's just delicious. I love it so much. I knew, I was like, with chocolate peanut butter, I was like, oh, Kelly will love that. That is so amazing. Thank you for thinking of us. I was we like, appreciate you guys it. We're going to share this. this around the studio. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> uh, Jen, do you like chocolate and peanut butter together? I, I do. I like my chocolate on its own, like mint chocolate, oh. peanut butter chocolate. I'm like iffy on it, but I love chocolate, so anything with chocolate, I'm You're down. good. good I'm down. Go. And by it. the way, when I mentioned Split Social Kitchen, Jen went, <gasps> She said she liked yes, it. Yes, I have only had it once, unfortunately, but it is delicious. I was like, we have to go back. I haven't been back, but yeah, and I've only heard great things. Yeah, I had the brunch and it was that looks to so die good. for. So yes. I'm going to go there and I think do a story with the owners. And they have a funny story about how they started. Anyway. Oh, I'd love so, to hear it. That's right. great. Yeah. That's great. So I've been there for dinner, but not for brunch. So I'll have to try that too. Yeah. Yes. All right. So this morning, I have a couple of stories to tell you guys about. How do you feel about um, gender reveal parties? Do you want um, to be honest? Yes, be honest. I hate them. <laughs> okay. I'll be honest. I All hate right. them. So, 
I get that. And I, I think sometimes they are unnecessary. And I talked to someone once and she was talking about financial advice and she said it's kind of redundant because you have a baby shower, you have, oh. you know, the mm -hmm. uh, the gender reveal is just to uh, for people to spend more money. Wait, Kelly, you didn't answer. But, How do you feel? Well, I don't know if I know. I think when it's someone's first child, they're just so excited. So excited, they just yeah. Wanna, they just want to share it with the whole okay. world. That's true. And it's you an know? excuse to get together and celebrate, yeah. right? Well, this family did just that and they did something unique, which I feel the same way. I feel like it's kind of unnecessary, but if it's a unique idea like this, this is kind of cool. They had a backyard wrestling match uh, and one friend was wearing blue for a boy and one friend was wearing pink for a girl. And they had this whole performance, a whole <gasps> wrestling match. Ooh. Oh! They had a ref and everything. E. And this is a random person that got in there with a <coughs> the chair when the ref was distracted. Oh. And then they keep going. And uh, where is the ref? There they go. And this is pretty entertaining. Looks like a lot of people out there in the backyard. There's the ref. And then girl wins. So it's a girl. And that's how they found out if it's a girl or boy. Oh, girl wins. Okay. Yeah. And that's how they found out. That is yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty so this cool. is kind of unique. And you know, entertaining uh, for. I gotta say, of gender reveals, that's probably my favorite. Then, <laughs> right? That one is oh, that good. One, yeah. I, yeah, that one is good. That's how I felt too. Because when I first heard the story, I was like, oh, another gender reveal. But this is a pretty. Unique <laughs> that's idea. a good. It looks like yeah. the neighborhood I grew in, uh, with all the people watching. Just yeah. none of the the ring was. <laughs> was <it not laughs> <the whole ring? laughs> <laughs> Who is going to fight this this week? It's crazy. I love that. That's yeah. actually cute. That was that a cool idea, right? Very interesting. They kind of changed my mind yeah. about gender yeah. reveal parties. Wait, do you have to bring a gift to a gender reveal? I think you do. Oh. I don't know. I I'm think like, that's I why I don't draw know the what line. to bring. I, I think that's up to you. Bring. I think that's up to whoever's okay. putting it on, like if you request a gift or not. I okay. mean, you could, mm -hmm. you know, make do one without gifts required. <laughs> that's interesting. Okay. Uh, this next story. What are some words that you guys misspell that you have trouble like thinking? Oh my gosh, about? so many. Okay, so, so many, many, right? <laughs> Definitely uh, is one of those for me. Ornery. Uh -huh. O R N. Ornery is Yeah, ornery is how you say it. That's how I say it, yeah. yeah. February. February, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. so, uh, so AT&T reviewed some of the top searched how to spell words uh -huh. from March of last year until March of this year and by state. These are the most searched for words. In Missouri, quarantine was the most misspelled. In Arkansas, received. In Kansas, multiplication. In Kentucky, favorite. And in Texas, confident. Those what? are some of the words that were most misspelled. I uh, love this. Look at these words. Exercise was on there. And these <coughs> are the words, okay, how people misspell them, which I think is pretty funny. Quarantine, 12 states didn't know how to spell quarantine. Oh. Most misspelled way, they thought, quarantine. 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 <laughs> quarantine. That's hilarious. Favorite in seven states, people spelling it with a U. The British That's the British way. way. The British oh, is way. it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Coronavirus in six states spelled coronavirus with an A, <laughs> and then which, which one, uh, five states didn't know if it was which on a broom or which, like, that is confusing, like a guys. sandwich, yeah. like yeah. no H in there, so I'm with you. a few words, um, <gasps> believe every in three states, people didn't know how to spell every, every. Uh, definitely was, that's, definitely. that is a hard that one, that is a hard one, definitely is hard, definitely separate, is. Yeah. And by the way, remember separate, but it always has a rat in separate. It has a rat. Oh, okay. That's how I remember that one. That's a good. Yeah. Oh, right over there. Gotcha. See, sep, a yeah. rat. You sep, a rat. Okay. Well, and sometimes there are just simple words, and then the I after E. Yeah, yeah, yeah the after receive, C. Yeah, yeah, was one of them on there. So. That's fun. You know what another yeah. hard word to spell is? What? Meteorologist. It is. <laughs> that is a hard word. I'm telling you, I realized that over the weekend. <laughs> yeah. I Anybody was, else? I, have I think to, so. Yeah. I have to think about it. Meteor. Mm -hmm. Ologist. Ologist, yes. yes. That, yeah, that's how I It's even about harder it. to say some days, guys. I I can barely get it out. I'm like, I, I, I gave one of my friends a really hard time. She actually, uh, in Sioux City, um, she came on and revoiced all of our opens and everything, and she said it meter. Like, she yeah. can meter. Yeah. Oh. Like, I'm a meter. I study parking meters instead of. Oh, there, oh, you, oh, there go. you go. Yeah. Meterologist. So, yes. <laughs> How's the weather looking, Teej? <laughs> you know, guys, still kind of similar pattern that we 